Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to Respawn Inbox. We have a very special guest today, and I would love her to introduce herself right now. Oh, hey, I'm Diana Russo, and I just wanted to comment that this toy looks really phallic. <laughs> And every time I watch this show, I'm like, do they know that they're just like hanging out with big I had not thought and... of that. <laughs> wow. That is I can't really... believe. How did we miss this? So this is our, fir you're our yeah. first female guest on Inbox. Yeah. And I can't believe you beat us to a dick joke. Wow. Like <laughs> we like haven't done our job. Of... Man. I'm, yeah. I'm just gonna quit. Uh, yeah. yeah, so this is the show, uh, Deanna, I'm sure you're familiar. But uh, if you're not, and if you as a viewer are not, this is where we uh, we answer the mail. This is the Machinima mail room. Yeah. We get our uh, we get our comments, criticisms, and critiques from the YouTube comments <laughs> and uh, Twitter's, Facebook, sometimes even real mail, which is where all the swags come from. That's awesome. Some, some, some. By the way, yeah. ah! oh jeez, it is shocking the first I love time. It. Is it lollipops? <laughs> what? what? By the way, happy. <laughs> Happy Memory Day here in the United States. Mm. If you're a United States citizen, mm -hmm. today's the day where we enjoy our memories. Absolutely. Are you guys? Uh, I think that's a good ones right now. What are you celebrating uh, Memory Day with? Um, you have any? I one time tied my friend Stephanie to a tree when I was six years old and left her there for eight hours, and then got. Uh, it's like, it's not a positive the, memory because yeah. at the time it was fun and she you was. You sound like a dick. Dude. Also, yeah, yeah, not the story to share when our first. Girl guest oh, comes sorry. Like yeah, that's you right. tying chicks to trees and leaving them there. We were six. It was she was going along with it, and then it was all like, oh, I didn't let him do this, and then I got in trouble. Six hours. Like, six hours. Nut up, Deanna. Mem memories on Memory Day. I'm you really enjoying this poppycock, by the way. It's pretty good. In your in your metallic in ball what? sack. What, what the what the? I'm fuck sorry. What are you talking about? Um, Is I was called poppycock. It's called poppycock. Yeah. It's very thematic, guys. Yes, in the middle. <laughs> yeah. But no, you were about to share a memory. You can do that while you. I got locked in a locker once, and now Ooh. I'm claustrophobic. Ooh. Because like we were taking turns. That's why you're claustrophobic. You got. Yeah. Well, have you ever what been trapped in a locker? It's fucking scary. You can't it's really like. Tight. And you have to trust the person on the other side, like, and get the combination. No. I'm a tall white male. Yeah. We I, never I, ever I, get put in lockers. That's not. A, I'm not oh. bragging. That's just like a genetic mm. thing. Right, just, we just like, we just I never get pulled over by the cops. I just don't. That's true. I'm gonna kick it off here. Fadi Haddad. Fadi. That's not with a, he could be a slim dude. Fadi Haddad. Mm. He asks, how fast can you clap your hands? That's a good question, Fadi. APL, you wanna uh, give us first, yep, here first we blush here? We ready? Yep. We ready? It was so fast, it almost sounded like it stopped there for it was a second. Like arrhythmical. That was yeah, wasn't it? But yeah. it's because you. Nope, nope, you sound like a Down syndrome. <laughs> All right, my turn. Oh, good technique. Oh, he does the close and tight. That's it's good. It's the combination of masturbation and golf clapping. Oh, yeah. shit. That's true. Good at that. Look. Oh, my God. I just, I'm done eating. I'm sorry. That's Deanna, cool. you want to take this the show is. That's how we roll on inbox. Jose Flores. Hey, bros, describe your penis with a movie title. Bros, he didn't know that we were gonna have yeah. a member of so, the hose team. What about yes. you describe your vagina with a movie title, and we'll describe um, your penis. How about, um, mm, that's a good one. A no lot. Country for Old Vagina. Oh. <laughs> or old, or men. old men works, Or too. old men, either. Old men works, right? too. No, well, no, we no shouldn't vagina, speak for her. No Vagina for Old Men? No, you can keep the original title. No country, no country for, old. for old men? I mean, that yeah. still works. Oh, we're not substituting a no, word? No, no, no. Because that's a fun game. That's true, too. How to lose a vagina in 10 days. You know, or you could just stuff. do no cunt for old men. Oh. You're still working on it. He's still playing it out. Uh, I got mine. I got mine. I got mine, too. Go alone for it, alone in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? Uh, mine's a bit of a, a complex. The hunt for red penis? I'm still subbing in. Yeah, you're it's subbing. It's way more fun. See, my dick, I think I would call the return of the king. <laughs> and my balls, I would call the two we towers. We didn't ask for the balls. And just, my no. my tuft, I would call the hobbit. Because <laughs> it looks like a hobbit's foot. Jesus, with, uh, all right. It's, but all you right. Can't, God, it's I... like you can't see the hobbit, but you see his leg and then his foot. No, we got it, it's a, it's a furry foot. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Would, it, would it be? I don't know what the lady's like. It... <laughs> Jesus Christ. You want, to, you want to see my hobbit's foot? <laughs> um, no. How about Little Red Riding Hood? Mm. Is oh, that good? Yeah. For a girl? Oh, for a girl. That could, if, um... We have hoods, guys. Mm -hmm. Come on, if you don't know. What about the Midnight Meat Train? 
<laughs> that could go either way. That's that really good. Like, yeah. mm, asexual. Oh, are you guys circumcised? This is fun, man. Do we yeah. have to even do any more of these questions? Are you guys Let's... circumcised? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because that's like a whole other topic. I'm clipped. I would love to, yeah, get, you want to get into that? What is the topic? Uh, the, topic the topic is our topic. next question. No, oh. what did you do? Okay. I was interested in the circumcision talk, but we'll move on. It's just a different technique, that's all I'm saying. Mm. All right, yep. Okay. Matthew Bolger, what's up guys? I recently tore my meniscus. And I was wondering, what's the worst injury you've ever had? That's in your knee, right? I think so. That sucks. Yeah. It sounds bad. Like, the if you tear your meniscus, it's like, that's bad. I don't know what it is. I think if you tear anything, mm. I mean, not good. Mm. I'm the, I'm, I am random accident prone. Yeah, you look like a, an ad for Band-Aids. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Mickey. Is that what? Well? It's, it's Mickey, uh, Donald, and mm. more like Mickey. It. Thanks, like guys. Mm. Um, I once splattered hot wax in my eyes and seals them shut. And then I had to call 911. No. no, that's real. I was how 16 that, years old. How did that happen? What were you doing? I was jamming out to the Alma Brothers, cleaning my room, and. <gasps> oh, oh man, shit, I got to get some This is epic. For this I have track. seen the Alma Brothers live more than any other band. That is a fact. And um, and I'm playing one of their live albums, and I have one of those Glade candles that the, the old shapes. And this is 1996 now. We're shaped like this. And there's like blue wax that's been forming. This this like pool mm -hmm. of hot wax because even you burn it for a while, it doesn't really yeah. work, right. So I'm putting something on a shelf. I knock my gym locker off a shoelace off oh. of a thing, and it went plunk down into the candle. And when I looked down to see where it was landing, as if I didn't oh. know that it was going to go down into this thing, I went and like it went perfectly into the Glade candle. Two hours of like hot wax splattered into my oh face, and I was. Oh my god. And I was like, cool, how do you find a portable phone when it's not on its jack and you're home alone? And so I like, I, fell, I found my way downstairs, found the, the kitchen phone that had like a long cord, dialed 911 blindly, you're, told them I no. added, this is, the, you can do She's it. She's just describing a scene out of Final Destination. <laughs> <laughs> this is not, this I call bullshit. Like, I call guys. bullshit, no way this series of events I, happened. This and is so insanity. real. No, no, it gets more insane because the uh, the EMT team for my little town was having their like <laughs> weekly, the, Bernardsville, New Jersey, they were having their oh, weekly shit. meeting literally around the corner from my house. So when they got the call, they didn't even like, they, they, just, they literally just ran over. So by the time I walked to my front door to make sure it was unlocked, they were walking in. It was great. Wow. I think EMTs uh, having meetings should sort of just be off the table for them. Yeah, <laughs> having That's, meetings. Shit, we've got another. Shouldn't they just be always at the alert? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. No, that APL, do, you have a, do you have an injury? Um, what do we got? Yeah, worst injury I ever had. Matthew uh, Bolger. I, mm. I split my chin open when I was younger, sliding under a table, doing this like sweet uh, air guitar slide. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I looked super cool. Can we get but, a taste of this? No. I think everybody God. wants to see. Yeah, I'm sure they would, but uh, <laughs> I don't know where Why? it's yeah. from. Yeah. And I literally, as I was sliding, I realized, I re I realized like that's a sharp, like, metal thing under this plastic table and I just slid it. It was just like hanging right open. So uh, that was pretty bad. That's prior hair. to that, he couldn't grow uh, facial hair. 13 stitches. <laughs> exactly. 13 stitches uh, awesome. required on that, yeah. So I jumped a, uh, when I was on my mission serving the Mormon Jesus, mm. I jumped a basket. Yeah, oh yeah. How have I not seen one of those? Okay, go on. I jumped a basketball hoop on my mountain bike wearing my shirt and tie, overshot the landing and broke both my arms. Ooh, what? Both your arms yeah. at the same time. So I was laying there, an emissary of the Mormon Jesus on the ground, screaming, like sw like swearing. Yeah. Oh man. It's just it was terrible. What yeah. were your casts like? I got well. I went to the doctor because at the time I was big on like BMX, so I was like manly man. So I'm like pick one and cast it. And he's like, you're an idiot. I'm gonna give you like a Barbie cast. I'm like, uh. -huh. So he <laughs> cast my wrist and slung my el. Sorry, slung my elbow. And then that was it. And then I rode around and Is that some lollipops too? Spread the... Like in the bank? I don't know. They've never, they haven't done yet. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know. No, it won't happen again, but do you guys have any? Do you guys have any lollipops? Yeah, lollipops. I know it's gay. Yeah. No? Mm. No, they said it was too gay. Mm. I explained that you were a lady, so that's not gay. But yeah, super yeah. Homophobic that two dudes upstairs, hanging out with this, so. that's not gay. All right, cool, <laughs> just making sure. Next up, Callan Middleton asks, can you do a redneck impression? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, why not? Absolutely, Callan, you think... <laughs> what was that? Shut up, shut up. Just because every accent I do turns into Surfer right, Australian uh, doesn't mean, okay, I don't get a chance. 
<laughs> you son of a bitch. How dare you make fun of my redneck accent. See, I'm warming up to it. I'm slipping out to it. It's happening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stump train you, boy. You sure got a pretty mouth. That's Do you know what stump training is, by the way? Yeah. I learned this. What is stump training? I don't know if this is real. But this oh, that's gotta be fake. <laughs> what is this? This is where a hillbilly has yeah. trained the livestock to back up onto him when he's standing up on a stump so that his junk is at their butt level. That's what stump training, as far I as I know, that's is. that's real. That sounds like urban, well. Yeah, can we look up on urban dictionary? dictionary? Urban dictionary. You guys, the more you know. You wanna give Thanks it a, for the question, Calvin. Yeah. yeah, all right. You uh, son rapid of fire? a bitch. Yeah. No, 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 you guys do some redneck. Oh. Let's right. hear some redneck. Right. Let's hear some redneck. Uh, I wash myself with a rag on a stick. <laughs> that fucking your sister, boy. <laughs> what I tell you about that? Oh, is this no. an accent we can actually sort of all we can do? Kinda, yeah, well, I mean, I, I feel like the redneck accent is like... It's sort of an American on, thing, guys. huh? We're all a little bit redneck. Yeah, we, we, all we have can do else. those backwoods voices. Guinea, Mwop, Dago, Goomba, and I can do a fucking redneck. <laughs> that's America. Yeah. That, that's America. Really, rednecks are... Is a, is a fabric part of America. Mm -hmm. I'm still going through and you the can go, list of it's not slurs. Like, there was Guinea, Guinea. Guinea, Dago, Wop, Goomba, Grease Ball. Oh, you're Python. just stacking it on the, oh, I'm I got Italian, it. Okay. Yeah, 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 Jersey, right. motherfucking Italian. Yeah. Hey. I heard the Italian coming hey. out there. Yeah. But that's the thing, that, that's, a, that's a beautiful thing about rednecks is that it's not limited to um, a particular geographic area of the United States. There are rednecks everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's true. There's rednecks in California, I didn't even know. And then I saw the trailer parks over by the beach and I was like, that's rednecks. That's rednecks. We're in West Hollywood, man. You might no. be a redneck. There's no rednecks here. Well, they Absolutely get rednecks, zero. but for other reasons. That's a, well, anyway. I don't want to get into it. You know, you want <laughs> I'm to, letting that one. I kind of, I kind of want to know. How you what get a redneck, redneck is? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think everybody wants to know. Yeah, well, I don't think you do. Well, okay, so a redneck is when uh, another dude sticks his dick down your throat and it's, so furiously so uh, face fucking you yeah. uh, that the bottom of your neck right around here starts getting red. Uh, and you can see it from the other side. So far, so that's red just gay. Yeah, it's real gay. Just letting you know what it is. You guys wanted to know. Things oh. I didn't know until Thanks, I moved to West Hollywood. Thanks, APL. Yeah. <laughs> the more you know. Learning a lot, as usual, learning a lot of really important stuff on Inbox. You're welcome. <laughs> Stump town. Wait, what's stump town? Oh what's god. Stump, stump training. training. Stump training. I'm telling you guys. That's not That's real. So not real. Don't go, well, don't go to some farm then in South Carolina okay. and stand up on a stump and take your pants off. Don't do it. I'll try not to. Because it'll be like <laughs> we'll just back up. Yeah. They'll attack your dick with their <laughs> animal butts. Happy memory weekend, guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh the memories. The next one of the show is the part we call Rapid Fire, where we answer your shit as fast as we can. Deanna, are you ready for this? Mm. Zach Ritter wants to know whether or not we'd rather master an instrument or be fluent in every single language. Language. Instrument? What? Language, because if you can't speak the language in another country, it doesn't matter how smart you are, you're gonna sound dumb as shit. Who fucking cares if you can serenade a girl with a glockenspiel? Music is the international Boom. language. Even animals speak it. What? Read a book. You lost this one. <laughs> Shut Read up. a book. Scott Bills wants to know, would you rather adopt 300 cats or one Mexican family? Mexican, Mexican families, family. yeah. Unanimously. Yep. Yeah, I love Mexicans. Cats aren't gonna clean your house and your do your lawn. Cats aren't gonna throw you a major quinceanera, okay? Did you say do your mom? Lizzie Applegate wants to know whether or not we'd rather look good all the time and feel like shit, or we wanna feel super good all the time and look like shit. Feel like shit, look like really shit, good. Bad. Feel good, look really good. Yeah, we agreed. Wait. You said the opposite. Feel yeah. like shit and look really. Oh, I did. Do you yeah. want to feel like shit or do you want to feel good? You want to feel oh, good, man. man. Feel good. Let the love in. I've oh already been God. looking good and feeling like shit my whole life. I'm just curious what it's like on the other side. I said I'm it. so I fucked, it. you guys. Tyler Roper wants to know inverted nipples or no nipples? What? Inverted no nipples. nipples. Because you don't need nipples. Why do you no. a guy? Because, What's the point? It because doesn't matter. an inverted nipple is just what a is shy it? nipple. You just need to coax it out a little. It's more fun than no nipples. Is it like like it points south? You want to feel what inverted? No. Oh yeah, Barbie has no nipples though, Barbie right? Barbie has no nipples. Oh, that's like, true, that's The reason up. why guys even have nipples it's, is because you develop uh, nipples before your sex is inside. determined oh. in when you're a zygote. So, Fact. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's right, I know things. I never said you didn't. I have a third nipple. <laughs> Where? I think it, I think it is. You know how like you, because there's like an extra bit of hair that grows out of it. Oh. It's like, you have like rows of nipples, like a female, like a, like a sow, what? you know? No, I don't. <laughs> no. I could be wrong. Okay. Well. Yeah. Oh, you guys, that's it for inbox. 
Thanks for all the delightful questions, and you're welcome for all the lessons and information that you've learned. <laughs> Courtesy of APL, Deanna, and myself. Right. Be sure to check out Tainted Love, Happy episode four. Happy memorials. Happy uh, me yeah, how memorials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I'm still really discombobulated from fucking up my wish. Dude, it's alright. Dude, you need to let it go. It's memory uh, day. Yeah, happy memory day, memories. you guys. Hopefully you didn't mess up your wish and hey. you feel good and look like shit, unlike me, who's feeling really bad right now. But God, you look good. God, I look fuckable, don't I? Is everyone in agreement on this? Yeah. Yes. yes. Deanna? What? <laughs> Do I look fuckable post wish mess up? Uh, yeah, I'd fuck the sadness away. I knew it. I knew it. God, magic sucks and is awesome, isn't it? Hope Mrs. Stark watches this episode. What were we these? Oh, Tainted Love, yeah. Be sure and check out Tainted Love, episode four is up out of six, starring Orla Orlando Jones and our good friend Deanna. That's you. That's me. No, you, I point, Orlando <laughs> Jones and Deanna. <laughs> yeah, check me out in Tainted Love. A lot of chemistry. Woo! Uh, no, it's good, you guys check it out. Happy Memory Day, and uh, we'll Happy. see you next week. <laughs>